and say the same things. But um, my expectation was um, was that everything should change instantly. And every time that uh, things were not changing, I would get shocked. I thought I was not saved because I didn't know what it means to be saved. On radio, people would preach and lead people into salvation. I would be there joining them, saying the same prayer. On radio, at church, it was the same thing. Until one day when I was in boarding school, I was invited to a church service. We went there, there was an altar call, and I went there. We were led into the sinner's prayer. I prayed it with all my heart, just like in the past, because I didn't know what it meant to be saved. Then a certain lady walked towards me. She laid, she laid her hands on me, over my head. She said the prayer, I can't remember what she said. When she had finished, she told me to say, say thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus. I kept saying thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus. But something started coming out of my mouth. Something that I never understood. Words that I could not articulate. And then I stopped. And then she came back and said, what is it? I said, I'm trying to say thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus. But something out is coming out. I don't know what, I'm, what is coming out of my mouth. She said, keep saying thank you Jesus. Even if you hear those words, just keep saying thank you Jesus. I kept saying thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus. And I began to babble in tongues. I kept saying that, thank you Jesus. But what was, in my mind I was trying, I, was, I wanted to say thank you Jesus. But what was coming out of my mouth was something else. Um, when the service was over, we went back to school. The one, the one thing that I realized that um, after saying those, speaking in those tongues, I became more bolder than before. I was so bored. And then we went back in the dining hall during lunch, uh, supper. I stood up and prayed and people were shocked because I was a timid boy. I was somebody who could not stand before people, who could not look people into the eyes. But that day I realized that something strange happened upon my life. In the evening when it was time for prep, I went back to, to the dorm, got my books, went back to, uh, went to study. But before going to study, it was uh, our culture that uh, before you go to study, you have to say a prayer. So I went somewhere behind some uh, classrooms. Then I knelt down and I started praying. But what was coming out of my mouth, whatever I wanted to say was not what was coming out of my, out of my mouth. It was something else. And then I stopped because I couldn't understand what was happening to my life. That kept on for some days. Every time I wanted to pray, there were some ways that were coming out of my mouth. I had little knowledge about speaking in tongues. I had little knowledge about the baptism of the Holy Spirit. No one explained to me that there's what is called the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And I had no one to tell me what was happening in my life. So I kept blocking that uh, edge. Every time I felt the edge to speak in unknown tongues, I would stop praying. Um, when we closed, we went on break. I came back to Kitwe, and uh, since I I kept blocking that edge of speaking in unknown tongues, and that thing just vanished. When I joined the intercessory group, I remember during the weekends and most of the days would go to the mountain to pray, to seek the presence of God. And I 